What is going on, you guys? It is your boy, Umzi here. Schmitty right there. We are back, episode 8 of Fire Force Season 2. Second to last of what they have released so far. So we only have one more episode until we start week by week with Fire Force. So far, they actually have been doing week by week. That's good. So far. Not every two weeks. That's good. So, because episode 9 really just recently came out. But, Smoldering Malevolence. Uh, Sheenra and the rest of the crew are hopefully... What? 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 I'm just talking shit to them. About what? Don't worry about it. At least they won't know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> anyways, I assume they're hopefully going to be confronting more of what this site is that's in there. Uh, but right now they got to take care of some... Uh, what what they call it? I have a feeling it's going to be the bitch that kept possessing um, Shinra. What, the first pillar? Yeah, the first pillar. The first that's pillar looked like he was t um, she was taken over again a little bit. Right, that's what I'm saying. Is that's what I'm starting to think. Maybe it's the first pillar that's in the the reactor because they said that you know she was far away. You know she hasn't been found or whatever. Like when they were first talking uh, about her, that, you okay. know, she was super far away. So I'm thinking that that was her voice that sounded familiar. Like if she started talking normally instead of crazy, yeah, it sounded like her voice, and she started possessing him again. So I think that they're getting, I think that she's in the, the reactor. Why would she be telling him to save the forest, though? Unless, I don't want to think of it as like a like a second alternate ego with her. Or like there's there's a crazy one and then there's a sane one. Split, split, personality. split personality. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. That's I don't know. me. I don't know. They got to take care Let's of some. Let's link and all that shit. I'm just saying, I, I think it's the first pillar. They got to take care of some hellhounds. That I think that's what Tomiki said. Okay, listen they gotta to put. Rick the... No, I thought you were. I thought you were gonna say, um, "Listen to your Stranger Things." No, Rick Toffin. Oh, because they're what? Demon dog. Wait, demon dogs. What? De uh, de demon dogs. He, demon dogs. Um, so that's what he called them. But we are gonna get right into the episode. Like I said, last reaction. The giveaway is already live on the Discord. So if you guys want to win a chance to get the Heroes Rising digital copy that we will be receiving in two weeks, and that is when the giveaway ends, definitely join the Discord and the link in the description so you guys sign up. But in the meantime, we are going to get right into the episode. If you guys are new to the channel and you guys like our reaction, make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. And if you guys want to get notified on when we release videos, definitely smash the notification bell. Guys want to check out our merch and Discord, links in the description. With that being said, let's get right episode eight. What did he uh, even say? Uh, wait. <laughs> Don't. No, he said, hey guys, this is pie, right? <laughs> no, he said it's something. Like, I he, swear to God, that's what the fuck King, he just he said. He said King Arthur something, not or not courageous, die epically. <laughs> hey guys, this is pie, right? Oh my God. <laughs> Mick fucking squeeze me? The oh, hell man. did you just. Was that even English? <laughs> That was that was Arthur. That that was Arthur's language. Um, I am so. I need to listen to that. Again. I don't know if I can take the pro uh, the um, antagonist seriously with his voice. I can't. I can't do no, it. No, I can't either. He reminds me. I'm not. Like hey, I said, if it was just the deeper yeah, the tone deeper of that, voice of that reverb in his voice. Oh yeah. Then again, they might uh, want because uh, we can barely him. hear what his disciples are saying, though. So if you have him basically kind of saying the same or speaking the same way, it would kind of be a little bit hard unless you can reverb it in a certain way. But I don't know. He sounds I feel like there's a little bit of Guilford Godfrey in him a little bit. <laughs> I know it's not him, but I get I get it a little bit. Little, um, little pinch of salt. Little. So that actually like so obviously the clad want to use. That thing is a weapon. Well, they want to use Amaterasu in Japan. In Japan. To do what they're going to do there on a larger scale. Mm -hmm. Like the one in Japan will do it to the whole world. World. This one will we'll do, just it do it to that the... whole continent. Mm -hmm. That whole area. Yeah. Because um, I was really going back just and forth. Just, like... just imagine really quick. That explosion that would wipe out that whole area from where they are. From, you know, from the peninsula all the way to how deep land. How deep inland they are. Mm -hmm. An explosion that la that large. He said it would go to the harbor. Yeah. That large. To kill one thing. That, what you, I mean, that's literally like the atomic bomb. Yeah. And what do you think will it do to the rest of, like, even just, like, uh, Japan? 
Yeah, and imagine. Do you what, think it could be? Do you think like it would cause a tsunami times. or a tsunami or something? Tsunami or like what the fuck? <laughs> do you even know what world disasters are? I'm just saying, like, bro, that that's was, what I'm asking. Like, what do you think? Like, what do you think with the cost of this will happen to Japan? It'll unless probably it probably crack the fucking mantle. <laughs> oh shit! Like, it'll probably create such a large fissure in the earth that fucking the whole mantle will shift. Like. A great cataclysm, my guy. They're talking about ending the world. It's not just going to be a little poof from World War II. It's going to be a world-changing event. Like, think of what... If they do it to that area. Like I'm, the smaller one? Yeah, the small... I, I'm not talking about back in Matarasu. I, I just said, the smaller one's probably going to be like the atomic bomb. Okay. Like, it's, it's probably going to be... Yeah, exactly what happened to the atomic bomb. That's, that's exactly what I'm comparing it to. And now I'm going to go and say, take that and put it on a scale of like 100, that, uh, which is fuck, the yeah. output of Amaterasu. Oh, that, yeah. That, that was a very, very small one. Oh, Amaterasu, yeah. You could the, it, it's huge. Fit that. You could probably fit like 10 of those yeah. in Amaterasu. Obviously, we know the, yeah, obviously, I know the world will be absolutely fucked if, I mean, because. Obviously, that's what the clad is trying to do in the first place. That oh, that, that was the plot yeah, since the from plan season was, one. Was to use Amaterasu as a weapon. Mm -hmm. Like this guy's trying to use the weapon just to kill himself. Yeah, they're going to use Amaterasu as a weapon to then cause the second great cataclysm. Mm. So they're just going to fucking nuke the world. But I think it'll cause a, a massive break in the Earth's mantle, and it'll just. Yeah. I mean, that's like like the formation of um, the moon, like. You know, Earth was somewhat formed and whatnot, and then all of a sudden this giant asteroid came and <laughs> hit into Earth, and a chunk broke off, and that's what the moon is. And it, I mean, it literally caused Earth to just collapse on itself again and become magma mm. and reform. Like, I think it would go into a magmatic state, and it would just reform at that point. Or like the like the dinosaurs, yeah, giant asteroid hitting, and then you know the whole world just becoming engulfed in flames. Like I think that's I think that's the scale we're looking at here. Mm. But that's crazy. Oh no, not even just only. Talk about going yeah. out with a bang. I mean, I mean just, this is what this show. This show's went out with like one or two of them, mainly just only one. But well, we're gonna see how. I want to see what Shimmer just happened. I want to see what happened with Shimmer. I want to see what like just because I assume that is the evangelist. I don't it think it's the evangelist. I don't, I don't just I don't the facial so. feature. It looked just like her. I don't think so. I, don't I mean, obviously, so. we haven't heard what she sounds like, wore, but the evangelist wore white robes. But I'm just it, saying, was, like, if she, this was like way back then, unless not, this, it, it, like, she just appeared to Shinra and connected with them. When the evangelist connected with Shinra with Sho, mm. it was massive scale, white robes, very holy. Mm. I don't think it's the evangelist. Do you think it has some just something something to do? Do you think it can have connections with Joker at all? Maybe. Actually, I see a lot of similarities in Joker. Yeah. And this person, I see a lot of similarities. The two different colored eyes, the way that she holds herself, the colors of her wardrobe. Um, Maybe the Evangelist the has that, like a sister or something. The way she moves. I mean, who knows? Where there's God, there's Lucifer. Like yeah. Where there's light, there's dark. You know, dark. So I mean, maybe there's a counterpart to. The evangelist. Mm. You know, there's got to be that good and evil. Yeah. So maybe this is the gooder side of evil. Yeah. Because it just wouldn't make sense. Like, oh, you gave him, like, because they were going back and forth with Scove. It's like, oh, wait, what do you mean? They, this was put, like, this gave us life. This gave us, like, new meaning. This gave us, like, a right. chance to live or whatever. And, and I thought in the beginning, yeah, maybe it might be the evangelist. But after, after this, I don't think it is. Because I don't think the evangelist would try and stop. Mm. the destruction like why would the evangelist try and stop you know the great cataclysm why would he stop one of his servants mm. from blowing it up like why would he care that's what he wants yeah you know why would the evangelist care but um, i think yeah. that there's a difference here i don't think this is the evangelist at all it's like hopefully we'll get more exp uh, explanation on this character um, obviously I just thought it was the evangelist, just like facial features. Like it said, it could be an offspring. I did in the beginning. I, I, I 100%, I agree with you. I did. But so I'm like, new evidence is cause we, cause we obviously haven't heard the evangelist, but hopefully we'll get to see maybe in the next episode or even further on, maybe even, 
um, maybe the last episode of this arc. But so far, the episodes are going really good. I kind of can't deal with the guy, but maybe the voice will throw on me. I feel like they're going quick. Like, I feel like they're going, like... I mean, what? We're we're going into episode eight. So, I kind of know this. But but watching them, normally, I feel like there's, like, not a lot of content going on. Like, I feel there's not a lot of information. Like, compared to how season one was. Mm. How, you know, there was action, there's information, there's stuff like that. or set up for something, you know you know, greater in the end. I feel like this is kind of just like, it's slow. Like it's not slow. It's, I feel like it's going quickly. Like it doesn't feel like there's a lot in the episodes to where it's just like going quickly. I mean, I feel like cause no uh, footnotes. Cause around the, like, around this time in season one, they were investigating company one. And then the fight started breaking out between Rekka and Shinra around like an episode or after either eight or nine around that time so it, it was kind of around this time there because they're about to start fighting and about to start doing all this well, other shit or whatever even in the investigation of one that it was still you know it felt like there was a lot going on this is yeah. just it's very you know i don't know it just feels off to me and, and then again then is, again they did have a backstory two. they had a filler backstory with how the company was formed as mm-hmm. well unless that took place after i think that probably took place after and, and it's like and then again you know there it's it is a new season it's probably a new format stuff like that whatever mm-hmm. it's stuff they're trying to you know set up but i just i don't feel like they're properly setting up you know i feel like it's kind of slacking in in the delivery of the story right now i i feel i in my opinion, if I read the manga, I feel like the animation right now doesn't justify the manga. It, see, that's how I feel. I know the I shit with Inka, manga, because I people, like... I guess, have been looking forward to that character. It does it justice with her. Because, like, so far, obviously, with her joining the clad and just seeing how she is with her eyes and just everything, like, visually, mm-hmm. like, it pays tribute to her in the manga. I but... feel like with um, the manga readers, I feel like they'll agree that the the anime just doesn't do season two justice. Maybe it was the same with season one, but I feel like I feel it a lot more with season two. I don't read manga, so I don't know. Mm. But I feel like I'd probably get some agreements there that season two, you know, isn't being justified properly uh, to how the manga does it. Mm. But that's all I got. But really good episode. Uh, we are now kind of going in maybe like two or three episodes. Let's see how long this kind of raid on the. Just, just this raid. I, I don't know why I keep thinking every kind of arc is like a raid or whatever. But they go. It's really go, not they, a raid. It's an investigation. Or an investigation. Yeah, probably the next arc will be a raid. But so far, a really good episode. Cannot wait to see where this goes with everyone fighting, and really want to get to know more about that mysterious character that Shinra keeps getting adult links from. But thank you guys for lit the. Thank you guys for watching our reaction. If you guys liked it and our channel, like, subscribe, comment down below. You guys want to get notified on when we release videos, definitely smash the notification bell. And as always, I am OMZ, that is Schmitty, and we are out.